Hey folks, welcome back to the channel and our next video on Escape from Tarkov. This one is how to prepare for wipe day. And this isn't some kind of stupid video about things you can do to practice to get ready or anything like that. These are actual things you can do that may or may not make your day better once wipe day rolls around on Tuesday. Just a friendly bit of advice built from years of experience of me going through wipes. So whether this is your first wipe, your fifth, or even more, maybe there's a couple of tidbits in here that'll help you out. Memes aside, the wipe day can be tough and test everybody's patience. Some are go fine. Some wipe days go pretty smoothly. There's always hiccups, but they're minimal. But the last one, patch 14.5, it was rough. Even for me, I spent of my 12 hour first day streaming, I think I spent six of it out of the game trying to get back into it. So things can happen to everybody, obviously. And while wipe days never go perfectly smooth, there's a few things you can do in true Tarkov fashion to sidestep the issues. Let's not waste any more time and we'll get right into it. Okay, first things first, this is, I'm on a PV profile now, which is important in a sec, but um, the stats is why it looks so low for somebody at the end of wipe. So one thing I like to do, and I suggest other people do, is take screenshots of your stats. So obviously this screen here, make sure, like if you care about your overall, or your PMC or SCAV, you can get those. I really don't give a shit about my SCAV. I don't care about the combined. I'm just gonna do it with my PMC. You go through and you can go down and, uh, take screenshots of each of these and get a picture. And I built a montage, I stitch them together in Photoshop. You do what you wanna do um, and kind of build a screenshot of the, the last little bit of each wipe, just as a memory. So you can compare how you do from wipe to wipe. Maybe there's differences because of the way the game goes or you can see your progressions. So just a little thing you can do. Um, some of us do, it's up to you. And actually this wipe would be the first time like achievements though, I think they're supposed to stay. I'm not hundred percent sure, but I think they are. Um, things like that you can do as well. But now for the little bit of technical stuff. Um, the first thing is on, and this is the first wipe. So this isn't something that's proven out. This is something just based on what's happened in the last four or five months with PVE. If you are on your PVE profile, make sure you switch to your PVP one. And this is just an extra precaution. And this is assuming you want to play PVP on the wipe and you're not just sticking, you're, you haven't, you've completely given up on PV and you're playing PVE. This isn't for you, obviously, but that's the case you probably wouldn't be watching on for wipe day tips anyways. So that's gonna be it. Switch to your PVP zone profile. I'm personally worried about potential issues with congruency in PVE. Um, I will be very surprised if PVE works smoothly for the first couple of days for a couple of reasons. One, you're updating all of the client stuff. So BSG always moves, they shuffle quests around, they move items, they do all sorts of stuff like that with the wipe. And that's no big deal because we're all starting from scratch, except for some of the streamers that power through this stuff. And you guys don't ever see the problems because the streamers get to it first in the first day or two, and then BSG gets it fixed before you guys even get to it. But if PVE, you're like 42 or 35 or whatever you're at, and you've already got all this content unlocked, any new content or stuff that shuffles is going to be available to you and it might bug out. And with PVE essentially shortcut cutting a lot of stuff, there's a chance that things might not work at all. So that's one of my fears. So I'm not even going to be in the PVE profile. I'm going to be in PVP because we have seen with some of the issues in the past with PVE, you can't get in. You can't even log in. It'll load up. You'll get an error screen and you never even get to the menu. So you can't switch to your PVP profile. So you could potentially just be stuck in PVE and never be able to get to PVP. That would be freaking terrible. So for me, that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to PVP the night before. And this is the last thing you'll do um, before you log out. That's it. So like this will be Monday evening. Make sure you do it before the servers go down, obviously. But that'll be it. That's that. This is what you're doing when you're logging out. You're not going to do anything else. Switch to PVE and then log out of the game. Now, the next up is make sure you have your launcher open and it's going to be clearing caches and logs. So the first thing you're going to do is come down here to game settings. It's moved from previous wipe. So if you've done this in the past, it's in a different spot. But you go here to logs. Now, this is going to open up a full Older. Um, and the easiest way to deal with this is just shift all and delete them. Now I go through these and delete these every couple of weeks, um, sometimes more frequently. Uh, if you've never done this, you could have huge amounts of files in here. Now deleting these is no big deal. You're not losing anything. The only reason BSG has these is they use them for bug reports and logs from patch 14.5 are not gonna be super, super useful for bugs in patch 15. So go ahead and delete them. And then after that's gonna be clearing your cache. Um, this is just an extra step. It doesn't take anything. You click it and poof, you're done. That's it. That's all there is to it. Um, the game should do that anyways when you install, but I just like starting things off clean, less stuff for the, the automated systems to fuck up or anything like that. So those are just a couple of steps there that I always do before each wipe. Okay, now the next little bit is going to be for after wipe day. So this is actually after it wipes um, and servers are down. What you wanna do is make sure you're ready when servers come up. And yes, this can suck and it means you're sitting around, but this is the cost of getting in early 
um, and beating the flood that happens. And it happens all the time. They might say servers are going to be down for six and it drags on to eight or 10, 11 hours. I don't remember what the longest one is, but it's been a long time. You know, they said the servers are going to be down for five or six and it ended up being nine or 10 or something, I think was the worst. That was years ago. So I don't really remember it well, but sometimes it happens right away. Sometimes it's even a little bit early. I've seen them pull them up early, though. It's, I think they've only done that once or twice. But if they say the servers are down for six hours, plan for six hours, be up and ready 15 minutes before that time. So if it's 8 a.m. your time, be up at 7 uh, 745 on your computer, be logged into the launcher. Don't be logged out or anything like that. Have it open, have it ready to go. And then on top of that, have a streamer open, you know, a bigger one. And I'm not big, but um, anybody that's, you know, a couple hundred viewers, uh, is going to do well because it seems like news travels faster in, in Twitch chat than the speed of light. It's amazing how fast news can come around. So as soon as the server, the servers pop up, it's going to spread like wildfire through all the streamer streams. So it's going to be one of the best ways to know right away and not miss it. And the reason for all of this is, is once servers go live, you have about 10 minutes to get logged in get updated and get into the game and get through the login servers. Because once you're in, you're usually good. The biggest log jam almost always happens in the, lo the, the login servers. And that's the case for most games like this. I wa it, We watched it happen with New World, countless other games. It's the login servers that get hammered and destroyed before. And the, the game will be running fine, but people can't log in. And that's just, that, that is every wipe. It happens like that. So if you're first in line, you get uploaded real quick. You get all your, you don't upload, you get your, your patch downloaded, installed, get logged in, you're in the game. You're usually pretty good for a while. And on top of this, that means you've got to be patient with things. You're going to get back end errors. You're going to have waiting. You're going to have like you're going to move an item and it's going to take 10 seconds for it to move in your stash and it's going to blink. If that happens, stop touching things and just let it sit. Restarting your client is a last resort. If you have to do it, you have to do it, but it's going to put you in line a lot of times and you're going to have a trouble time getting back in depending on how far into the day it is. Now, with this being on Tuesday, kind of late in August, it might work out pretty well because there's a lot of people back in school. Um, people are at work. The servers might not get hammered like they normally do over like Christmas when everybody's home. So we'll just have to wait and see. Now, if this is going to tip you over entirely, there's nothing wrong with skipping the first day entirely. Early wipe doesn't change that much. Like it still feels like the first day for the most part for man, at least a week, maybe two. Yes, there's people that blow by and get way ahead. But the good news is, is those people are usually on the maps like Interchange or Shoreline, um, often even like Lighthouse. And they're doing their quests there, streamers and stuff before you, and you're rolling out, you're in ground zero steer, still, or you're running streets, or you're running customs, wherever you wanna go. You're not gonna run into those people a whole lot for you know a couple of weeks, even if you start late. So skipping the day, first day is perfectly fine if you're gonna get frustrated by this, and it might even be suggested because you could miss out on a lot of the bugs. It's that or go play your PVE profile, because the, what I'm expecting is all of the content is gonna be unlocked in PVE right away. Like I said, if you're already level 40, you're gonna have access maybe to the M60, some of the new, if there's any new tasks, if they shuffle tasks, it doesn't matter usually because you've got it completed. So even though they change them or they shuffle them, the fact that you've got that check mark means you've got it done, which means any rewards there you might already have, all that kind of stuff you could see in PVE, skip all the lines and have that content unlocked right away. And on top of that, you don't have to deal with the servers other than the login servers, which, they're different for PVE and PVP. We know that because we've had them go down separately. There's been times where PVE servers go down, but PVP is fine. So we know they work a little bit differently, um, but uh, it might just be a safe haven at the end of the day. But that's all I got. I I, I know I kind of trailed on and yapped a little bit there, but this is stuff that I, I, and I get in chat all the time and I like to share with people just to try to help them get through that wipe day the best they can if they want to partake in it. So if you, you stuck it out this long, Appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching the video. As always, I appreciate it. Can't uh, can't say that enough. Wouldn't be here without you guys again. So I always appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I don't, I don't do that enough. I don't I don't say that. I don't I'm really bad at the call to actions, but we'll do it here at the end as well as I stream on Twitch. Obviously, if you don't know that um, and YouTube, I stream on both. So come watch me wherever you prefer and we'll be live wipe day pretty much all day and all week, probably every day as we get through the first little bit of the wipe and try to explore the content. So we'll leave you with that. I wish you the best of luck on your wipe day uh, and we'll see you in Tarkov.